Hey everyone, and happy World Quantum Day! It is April 14th, 2023, and today's date has been marked to spark interest in quantum mechanics and quantum computing, which I happen to be a huge fan of. So I thought, why not spread the word and combine two things that I like a lot, quantum mechanics and speedrunning. Last year for World Quantum Day, Google Quantum AI launched this free browser game called the Qubit Game to help introduce quantum computing concepts to anyone who is interested. And I was surprised to find there were already a few runs up on speedrun.com. And coming from the insanely competitive background of Minecraft speedruns, it only took me a few days to find some game-breaking exploits, use multiple instances, and get world record in the main category. But I didn't grind that hard, and these runs are actually very beatable. So I thought it would be fun if anyone watching this video wanted to try and get world record and be the first to break the 20 minute barrier to celebrate this year's World Quantum Day. As of now, I hold the world record of 21 minutes and 47 seconds in the any percent category. But there's also the all unlocks category at one hour and 10 minutes, which I think the sub one hour barrier can also be broken. So for the rest of the video, I'd like to walk you through the basics of the Qubit game, show you the skips and techniques I found, and if you're bored, in just a few hours or days, you could very easily get the first ever sub-20 or sub-hour. I think it'd be cool if we could find even more skips and break this game even further, and I'll be honest, I had a lot of fun for a couple days playing this game. Uh, it definitely gets repetitive after a while, but it's a very fun break if you need it. The Cubic game is pretty simple at first, but very quickly gets crazy. Uh, the game essentially just has four parts. In the first part, you have to use your mouse to keep heat particles away so that your qubits can work, and you click on them to gather information. With that information, you could buy upgrades that help you gain information even faster and reduce the rate of heat particles. In the second part of the game, you can unlock the analog signal processing upgrade, which brings up two waves at the bottom. And when you align these waves and select a command, you can send a message to all of your qubits at once, which makes dealing with a lot of them much more manageable, but it is a little tedious. In the third part of the game, you can unlock the digital computer interface, which basically lets you just press a button and send a command to all of your qubits while matches the waves automatically. Eventually, you get to send multiple commands, just like executing lines of code, so you can gather tons of information at once. And lastly is the emails and algorithms section, where now that your quantum computer is really powerful, other people are emailing you to solve their problems with it. An algorithm is basically a sequence of commands that when you run, provides you with a guess. If you check that guess and find that it's the correct answer, you gain one successful algorithm. You then have to place those algorithms in the top right panel in a randomly determined puzzle to solve the problem. Once you solve four problems, you are awarded with a certificate of completion and have beaten the game. So now that you know the basics, I wanted to go over a couple skips and exploits I found to make the game a bit faster. The first and the coolest skip I found is the free digital interface. When you're in a browser game like this and you press tab, you'll notice that different elements on the page are being highlighted. What I think happened is when they coded this game, the digital interface is technically always there. It's just hidden until you buy the upgrade. The problem is that when you hit tab enough times to select it, it just appears anyway. So all you have to do is hold tab for two seconds and you can get the digital upgrade instantly which basically lets you completely skip the analog section of the game and you never have to match the waves up a single time. Unfortunately, the only commands available to you early in the game are measure and wait, which aren't too crazy, but it does make measuring in the mid game much easier. Additionally, if you did have a command left over from a previous game, it actually stays in the command line for the next one, letting you do some pretty crazy stuff with the cohere and entangle commands from the very first second of the game. Unfortunately, this isn't really allowed in the speedrun, as the time would have had to start on the previous run, as there's no way to get these commands on a completely fresh game. The next skip I found, I'm calling free error correction. In the fourth stage of the game, when you're getting emails and running algorithms, you need something called error correction. Basically, with error correction off, all of your qubits will generate large amounts of information as normal, but when you try an algorithm, it'll only actually give you the correct answer 10% of the time. With error correction on, however, half of your qubits stop working, but your answers will be correct anywhere from 50 to 100% based on your number of qubits. So what I found is that you can actually do this cycle over and over where you keep error correction off, run an algorithm, 
gain all of your information, but at the last second, you click error correction on, and the game acts like it was on the whole time. So you get the best of both worlds by still gaining tons of information, but also having a higher chance of getting a correct algorithm. The last technique I found also occurs in this last stage, and it all has to do with the validation process being slow. It takes several seconds when you hit this validate answer button for the game to decide if you have a correct answer or not. But the game still does this when paused, and the pause time doesn't count towards your in-game time. So I found that if you click any empty space in the browser, hit tab, tab, space, you can select the pause game button with your other hand and let the answer validate before continuing. Which leads to this cycle in the late game of running an algorithm, checking the previous answer, pausing to let it finish, and then restarting the cycle. And that's all I have for now. I'm excited to see if more can be done with this game and just how low the times can get. Um, in the description, there's a link to my speedrun, the leaderboards, and also a guide written by the awesome speedrun mod Fibble on how to solve the email puzzles at the end of the game. So yeah, if you feel like giving it a shot, it's a totally free and pretty fun game. So thanks for watching and have fun quantum speedrunning.